how you'll do it. What we're going up to in this video. Fitting all the brakes, fitting the clutch master cylinder, and fitting the clutch sleeve cylinder. So let's get on with it. Uh, the first job I'll fit the torsion bar. I've got the big hole this end, so that'll go this end, and I've got the uh, big weird shaped bolt. So I guess that just goes well there like that. Hopefully you can see with my big fat hands in the way. I suppose that goes there like that. And that goes on to onto there. It's not on the other end. Screw that one to there. Tighten this one up. You probably can't see, but there should be a split pin in the back of this. Yes, that one's a bit too big. What about that one? Perfect. Got up to size because it's a bit too long. He says. Oh. I think that went into next week. Here it is. Push that through there. Probably can't see much, but bend that over there. There we go. There, that will do. Now let's try and uh, work out how we're going to get the brake caliper on. I've serviced these, but took them all to bits and uh, give them a good service in, and they're uh, pretty good nick, really. through there. Got no idea what this picture looks like with this bloody sun shining. Hopefully it's not too overexposed. Okay so now we've got to get some grease on this pin. Should do. There we stop a bit in there as well. Into there, he says. Yes, all that into there. Spread the pads. That should just drop down there. That's it. Then we've got the uh, bolt. Grease on that. Well, I think you can just about see the hole there where the bolt goes in. Well, the GoPro there. Multi shot. with a spanner. Here we go. Right then. This uh, foot peg has to go onto there. There we go. bolt here. Oh, that's got to go under there, Johnny. That's it. Screw that in there. Get the other one. Yes, I did put some grease on the bolts. 
do on most bolts, put a bit of grease on the threads. And hopefully in 10 years time when you've got to undo them again, they're not locked up. I'd imagine. It wants repairing first. I'll just take those off and uh, solder them back together. And then we can plug it in. Right then. This reservoir should come through this side, obviously. That's it. From there. Uh, this bolt will do, I'll just put a little washer on it. Just pitch that up. Here we go. I should have drained all that off first, shouldn't I? So that's the back brake. Uh, let me solder this wire and I'll be back in a bit. Right then, so there's the uh, brake light switch all soldered up and plugged in. I've also emptied the reservoir and put some fresh brake fluid in. Right then, I've found some pipe. I've broken the nipple. Just get this old container and uh, put the pipe go into there, we'll do the dip up. Yeah, press the brake lever. Tighten the nipple. Pump the brake lever a few times. I just keep doing that over and over again. See the old stuff coming out. So just keep doing that until you start to get some pressure. And I'll come back to you when I get some pressure. Okay then, there we go. Full pressure on the back brake. side first because it looks the most complicated. Right then. There's some uh, roller bearings in there so put some grease in there. Some grease on the bush. Put that in there. in there. Yeah, I think that goes on. So. Right, so we'll put the, uh, we'll put the bottom bolt in first. We can put a bit of grease on the uh, floating rod. Floating rod. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what the bloody hell you call it. And then some on the uh, other floating rod too. Again, the brake's a good service, but I didn't do it on camera. Because some people have lots of different ideas of how you're supposed to do brakes. So rather than upset the uh, YouTube police, I just did them off camera. And also, I just want to get this job done. That's not going to work, is it, Johnny boy? 
No, that's not going to work at all. Take this bolt out. Put this together first. Now we can get it on. Put that port in there. Just stick that in there. Put the uh, bottom one in. I don't apart from the uh, little blocking caps which I've got to screw back into there. So let's do the other side. Right then let's see if we can work out how to put this side back together. I'm going to put some grease in there. Some grease on there on the floating rod. Put some grease on this floating rod too. Try not to get any on the brake pads. Right then. So that must push into there, add into there. There we go. Get these brake pads separated. for that one. Can't find it, just put a new one on. So, pinch it up. Back to the top one. Pinch that up. And that's it. Brake calipers on. I've got to undo my mud guard brackets again just to get these little no, I haven't got to, well I've got to take that bolt out but just to get that one there so I'll do that and then we'll get to the uh, master cylinder at the top ok then so we've got that bolted to there but uh, it's the next new problem line goes up there comes to there and no way is that going to reach lovely Ok then, so that's all the brake lines I can find, let's uh, get the master cylinder on, see if we can do any good. Ok, so let's lube, remove this temporary mirror bracket thing. Here's my brake master cylinder, 12 quid, and I actually got the throttle with it as well. Perfectly splendid. Let's uh, see if we can't plug these two wires on first. There we go. Put that there. Hold that up there. So if you had the problem like I did, where there's no mirror mounts on your master cylinders, just go on eBay and buy these mirror clamps. Take that bit off, 
screw that into your master cylinder. Perfectly splendid. Okay, so we've got this one fitted to a fashion. A sort of tighten that up there, but I'm gonna have to get a double banjo bolt about other one somewhere, and then just take the other line straight down to the other one. Hopefully. That's what it looks like this end. That's what it looks like this end. Just sticking out there a bit away from the nipple, but that should be alright. I'm fixing what I could just fix that to there. So I think that will be perfectly splendid. Okay, then this is a different day. We've got that a little bit better. Uh, I did manage just to use that one piece, but. Let's go on to eBay and buy this piece. We'll go from there to there. So let's do that. Did buy this piece too. A double banjo bolt. Tear that your bolt as well. You want the first washer. Push the bolt through there. Put the uh, second washer. This one is just going to go into that. Screw it all back into there. Okay, he's got that screwed on there. So let's take that over the wood guard. And screw our banjo bolt. And hopefully, this is going to fit nicely onto there. Perfect. If we push that through there, push that on there, then screw that on there. Screw it all the way down. And then we can lock it down. There we go. Now what we've got to do is fill the reservoir with brake fluid. Okay, then carefully top it up. That'll do. Let's get pumping. Right then, there we go, brake lever, all up to pressure. Right then, let's sort the clutch out. So just like the brake, let's get rid of our uh, temporary clamp. Should I say mirror clamp? Press that down there safely. Uh, so we can just discard that bit, because the master cylinder takes part of that bit. If we just undo this clamp, like so, then we can discard that part. And we can plunk that onto there. And then we can try and plunk this onto there. You do need three hands. Or two hands and a chin. So I'll take you out a little bit. Let's screw that one all the way up. Let's screw that one into lockdown. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, then we've got to feed our cable through cable. Then we've got to feed our hydraulic line through <laughs> cable. I have fed it through underneath these wires, but I think it's going to be better on the top. Because I was sure there's some clamp what goes round here to uh, get that through there. Put that pipe into place there somewhere. So if I get the banjo bolt and uh, fix that one to there. Yeah, let's try that and see where we go from there. Right, so we can put the uh, banjo bolt through there with the uh, ceiling washer. We'll put ceiling washer on that side, and then. Hopefully, screw it into there. I think you better pick that washer up, Johnny. I'll do so long as it's in place. Okay, that the slave cylinder can run down to where it's supposed to go. But first, I've got to fix. Change sprocket cover. So let me find all the bolts and clear them up, and we'll, we'll do that. Okay, then, so the first thing is to uh, make sure the push rod is in. Then we can uh, locate the cover to the dowels. Okay, then we can pinch them up. the bottom one up. There you are, now maybe you can see. That's that one. Okay, so that's on there. Now we've got to get the uh, slave cylinder. On to there. There we go, there's one last bolt under there. There we go. Right then, let's get the uh, clutch and brake fluid and see if we can bleed this baby up. Okay then, so I did change the uh, route of the clutch line. It's a lot better there, handlebar bars are a lot freer. Uh, got my pipe on ready for the bleeding. So all we've got to do now is top up the reservoir. Right then, let's carefully fill this up. But we'll not fill it up, just uh, put enough in to go over the uh, what's it. That'll do the moment. I'll do the bleed dip and see what happens. Okay, here goes. I think we through yet. Let's try again. Okay, so I think that's about it. Yep, can start to see the air bubbles coming out. Right, I think that's it. No more air bubbles coming out. At last. 
pressure at the lever perfectly splendid just got to get the cap back on uh, got to refit this line again because I did have to take it off I'm not going to lie to you this is a different day from yesterday because it just would not bleed uh, the head had to take all the pipe and just hang it down as low as I could and I had to take all the master cylinder bits and there's a little hole in there what was blocked up so that's why it wasn't working perfectly splendid might be too stiff so here we go another the big piece of the puzzle done another part of the plan done so hopefully the next video will be fitting all the uh, bodywork a uh, rear wood guard, number plate, bracket, backlight, wiring up, rear indicators because I'm not using the integrated indicators in the rear lights because they're too close together. So I'll be making a bracket for the little tiny indicators what I'm going to get but they're super bright. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.